Good morning, UCLA. So today we're gonna to be doing lesson 136. So let's get started. Here's the first game, watch me. What am I doing? Get ready. Yes, waving. What am I doing now? Get ready. Yes, touching my knee. What did I do before I touched my knee? Get ready. Yes, waved. Let's say the whole thing about when I waved. Get ready. You waved before you touched your knee. All by yourself, say the whole thing about what I did before I touched my knee. Get ready. Right, you waved before you touched your knee. What am I doing now? Get ready. Right, touching my knee. Say the whole thing about what I'm doing. Get ready. Right, you are touching your knee. Here's another one. Watch me. What am I doing? Get ready. Right, touching my head. What am I doing now? Get ready. Right, touching my cheek. What did I do? Before I touched my cheek. Get ready. Right, touched my head. Say the whole thing about what I did before I touched my cheek. Get ready. Right, you touched your head before you touched your cheek. What am I doing now? Get ready. Right, touching your cheek. Say the whole thing about what I'm doing. Get ready. Right, you are touching your cheek. Very good. We're going to tell why things are the same and why they are different. Listen, a pig and a cow, think of them. See if you can name two ways they are the same. Okay, so you're telling me that a pig and a cow are the same because they're both animals and they both have four legs. So you told me how a pig and a cow are. Get ready. Right, the same. Listen, a pig and a cow, think of them. See if you can name two ways they are different. Okay, so you're telling me that a, pink, a pig is pink and a cow is white and black. So you told me how a pig and a cow are. Get ready. Right, different. Here's another one. Listen, a pig and an elephant Think of them. See if you can name 
two ways they are the same. Okay, so you're saying that a pig and an elephant are the same because they both have tails and they're both animals. So you told me how a pig and an elephant are. Get ready. Right, the same. Listen, a pig and an elephant. Think of them. See if you can name two ways they are different. Okay, so you're telling me that a pig and an elephant, a elephant has a trunk and a pig does not have a trunk. And you're saying that an elephant is gray and a pig is pink. So you told me how a pig and an elephant are, get ready. Right, different, good job, kiss rings. Super good. Here are new opposites. The opposite of sick is well. What's the opposite of sick? Get ready. Right, well. What's the opposite of well? Get ready. Right, sick. The children were the opposite of well. So what do you know about them? Get ready. Right, they were sick. The dog was the opposite of sick. So what do you know about it? Get ready. Right, it was well. Listen, the window was the opposite of small. So what do you know about the window? Get ready. Right, it was big. The teacher was the opposite of early. So what do you know about her? Get ready. Right, she was late. The birds were the opposite of awake. So what do you know about them? Get ready. Right, they were asleep. A can is the opposite of dry. So what do you know about it? Get ready. Right, it is wet. A worm is the opposite of well. So what do you know about it? Get ready. Right, it is sick. Good job. Let me give you guys some student points because you are doing excellent answering on signal and doing what you're supposed to. So let me give you guys some student points. Good job. You learned the opposite of fast. What's the opposite of fast? Get ready. Right. Slow. What's the opposite of slow? Get ready. Right, fast. The cars were the opposite of slow. So what do you know about them? Get ready. Right, they were fast. The pig was the opposite of fast. So what do you know about the pig? Get ready. Right, it 
was slow. Listen to these opposites. They left when it was the opposite of late. So what do you know about when they left? Get ready. Right, it was early. The bikes were the opposite of slow. So what do we know about them? Get ready. Right, they were fast. The kittens were the opposite of asleep. So what do we know about them? Get ready. Right, they were awake. The containers were the opposite of closed. So what do we know about them? Get ready. Right. They were open. A container is the opposite of full. So what do you know about it? Get ready. Right. It is empty. The car was going the opposite of slow. So what do you know of So what do you know about how it moved? Get ready. Right, it was fast. Very good. It's time for, for an absurdity. Everybody, why do we need shoes? Right, to keep our feet dry and warm, to keep them from getting hurt, yes. Why do we need pots? Right, to cook things. Would you use a shoe to heat your food? Get ready. Right, no, that would be absurd. Would you use a shoe to keep your food warm? I'm sorry, would you use a shoe to keep your foot warm? Get ready. Right, yes. Would you use a shoe to brush your teeth? Get ready. Right, no, that would be absurd. On the next page, we're going to see a picture with a shoe in it. See if you can find something in the picture that is absurd. Look at the picture. The girl is doing something absurd with the shoe. What is she doing that is absurd? Get ready. Yes, she is cooking in it. Why is it absurd to cook in a shoe? Right, yes, the food would spill out of the shoe and probably the shoe is too dirty and the shoe would probably burn on the stove, right? Those are all very good answers. What could the girl do with the shoe? Put it on her feet, very good. Put it in her closet, okay. What should the girl use to cook in? What should the girl use to cook in? Get ready. Right, a pot. What do you really use to cook in? Right, yes, a pot or a pan. Would you wear a pot to keep your foot warm? No, right, very good, yes. You wouldn't uh, wear a pot to keep your foot warm. Would what would you wear to keep your foot warm? A sock, yes, and your shoe on top, very good. Or, or a slippers, okay, very good, very good answers, super good. Look at these objects. Some of these objects are furniture. When I touch an object, tell me if it is furniture. 
Is this furniture? Get ready. Right, no. Is this furniture? Get ready. Right, yes. Is this furniture? Get ready. Right, no. Is this furniture? Get ready. Right, yes. Now we'll talk some more about each object. Is this furniture? Get ready. Right, no. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, this is not furniture. What is this? Get ready. Right, a boat. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, this is a boat. Is this furniture? Get ready. Right, yes. What kind of furniture is this? Get ready. Right, a couch. Say the whole thing about this furniture. Get ready. Right, this furniture is a couch. Is this furniture? Get ready. Right, no. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, this is not furniture. What is this? Get ready. Right, a girl. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, this is a girl. Is this furniture? Get ready. Right, yes. What kind of furniture is this? Get ready. Right, a cabinet. Say the whole thing about this furniture. Get ready. Right, this furniture is a cabinet. Good job. Let's give ourselves a, let's do the superstar. Let's do superstar. Good job. We're going to solve a problem about a rabbit. What are these? Get ready. Right. Plants. What kind of plant is this? Get ready. Right, a bush. What kind of plant is this? Get ready. Right, a flower. Listen, the rabbit will sit next to the plant that is smaller. Say the whole thing about the rabbit. Get ready. Right, the rabbit will sit next to the plant that is smaller. Is this plant smaller? Get ready. Right, no. So will the rabbit sit next to this plant? Get ready. Right, no. Is this plant smaller? Get ready. Right, yes. So will the rabbit sit next to this plant? Get ready. Right, yes. Name the plant the rabbit will sit next to. Get ready. Right, the flower. Let's see if you're right. Listen, which plant is the rabbit sitting next to? Get ready. Right, the flower. Is the flower smaller? Get ready. Right, yes. The rabbit is sitting next to the plant that is smaller. 
The flower is smaller than, get ready. Right, the bush. Say the whole thing about the flower. Get ready. Right, the flower is smaller than the bush. One of these plants is bigger. Get ready to tell me the name of the plant that is bigger. Get ready. Right, the bush. The bush is bigger than, get ready. Right, the flower. Say the whole thing about the bush. Get ready. Right, the bush is bigger than the flower. Let's see what you remember. What do we call a place with lots of people? Get ready. Right, a city. Let's see if you remember some of the things you see in a city. What is this man called? What is this man called? Get ready. Right. A driver. What is this man called? Get ready. Right, a police officer. What is this vehicle? Get ready. Right, a bus. What is this building? Get ready. Right, a store. What is this? Get ready. Right, a traffic light. What do we call the place you see in this picture? Get ready. Right, a city. Let's talk some more about this picture. Everybody, what kind of vehicle is this? Get ready. Right, a car. Say the whole thing about this vehicle. Get ready. Right, this vehicle is a car. Everybody, what kind of person is this? Get ready. Right, a police officer. Say the whole thing about this person. Get ready. Right, this person is a police officer. Let's talk some more about the city. Why do people need cars in the city? Right, to go to work, to go shopping. Why are there police officers in the city? To direct cars, very good. Why are there buses in the city? To take people places, okay, very good. Why are there stores in the city? So people can buy things, very good. And why are there traffic lights in the city? Yes, very good, yes, they show cars when to stop. They show people when to walk. Yes, those are all very good answers. Do you live in a city? Yes, right, you do live in a city. Where do you live? Right, you live in San Antonio. And is a city a quiet place or a no noisy place? 
It's more noisy, right? Yes, good job. What kind of store do you like to visit? You like to visit the mall, okay. What else do you like to visit? A restaurant, okay. The toy store, okay. Those are all very good answers. Let's see how much information you remember. What do we call a person who flies an airplane? Get ready. Yes, a pilot. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, a pilot is a person who flies an airplane. What do we call a forest in a hot place? Get ready. Right, a jungle. Say the whole thing about a jungle. Get ready. Right, a jungle is a forest in a hot place. What do we call a person who cuts? down trees. Get ready. Right, a lumberjack. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, a lumberjack is a person who cuts down trees. What do we call a place where Airplanes land. Get ready. Right, an airport. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, an airport is a place where airplanes land. What do we call a building for fire trucks? Get ready. Right, a fire station. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, a fire station is a building for fire trucks. Get ready for some new information. Listen, a library is a place with lots of books. What do we call a place with lots of books? Get ready. Right, a library. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, a library is a place with lots of books. What do we call a place where airplanes land? Get ready. Right, an airport. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, an airport is a place where airplanes land. What do we call a place with lots of books? Get ready. Right. A library, say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, a library is a place with lots of books. Good, remember about the library. When I touch an object, you tell me its name. Get ready, right, a chair. Get ready, right, a pie. Get ready, right, a mouse. Get ready, right, a dog. One of these objects is smaller than the pie. Name the object that is smaller than the pie. 
Get ready. Guess the mouse is smaller than the pie. Everybody say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, the mouse is smaller than the pie. Again, get ready. Right, the mouse is smaller than the pie. Two of these objects are bigger than the pie. Name the two objects that are bigger than the pie. Get ready. Yes. The chair and the dog are bigger than the pie. Everybody say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, the chair and the dog are bigger than the pie. Again, get ready. Very good. A woman wants to make a coat. Are some coats made of cloth? Get ready. Right, yes. Why can cloth be used to make coats? Okay, it's warm, it's light enough to wear, very good. Are some coats made of concrete? Get ready. Right, no. Can she use concrete to make a coat? Get ready. Right, no. What's absurd about a coat that is made of concrete? Right, you couldn't put it on. It would be way too heavy. Are some coats made of wood? Get ready. Right, no. Can she use wood to make a coat? Get ready. Right, no. What's absurd about a coat that is made of wood? Right, it would be too stiff and you wouldn't be able to put it on. Look at these pictures. This coat is made of cloth. What is this coat made of? Get ready. Right, cloth. Some coats are made of cloth. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, some coats are made of cloth. This coat is made of leather. Some coats are made of leather. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, some coats are made of leather. This coat is made of rubber. What is this coat made of? Get ready. Right, rubber. Some coats are made of rubber. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Right, some coats are made of rubber. So everybody open your worksheet to lesson 136 and find the sweater. Here is a rule for this picture. Draw a rectangle around every building. What are you going to do? Get ready. Right, draw a rectangle around every building. Do it. Here's another rule for this picture. Draw a circle around every piece of clothing. What are you going to do? Get ready. 
Yes, draw a circle around every piece of clothing. Do it. Later, you'll color all the objects any color you want. Find the chair. What part is missing? Get ready. Right, the rungs. Touch the cabinet. What part is missing? Get ready. Right, the countertop. Touch the table. What parts are missing? Get ready. Right, the legs. Later you're going to draw in all the missing parts and then make these objects any color you want. Everybody turn your worksheet over. Find the first box. What are the objects in that box? Get ready. Right, a glass and a triangle. Touch the next box at the top. What are the objects? What are the objects in that box? Get ready. Right, a glass and a triangle. Touch the next box at the top. What are the objects in that box? Get ready. Right, a broom and a toothbrush. Cross out all the boxes that are wrong. Then fix the rest of the boxes so they are like one of the boxes at the top. Find the light bulb. Here's the rule for this picture. The things that are made of glass should be blue. The things that are not made of glass should be some other color. Make a blue mark on something made of glass. Make a cross out mark on something that is not made of glass. Later, you'll color the picture. And that's the end of lesson 136. You did super good UCLA. You got so many student points and you were rocking it today. I'm so proud of you. Keep it up UCLA, good job.